My name is Tom Crowley. I'm a Vice President and General Manager of the Liberty Fleet of Tall Ships. So what I do is help set up private corporate charters, weddings, and special events. We have two schooners here in Boston in the summertime with four day sails a day. And we also run both boats in the uh, Caribbean in the winter. The uh, Liberty Clipper, the big one, uh, sails out of Nassau taking 20 passengers a week, 20 to 24, out for six day sails. And then the Liberty Star, the 67 foot schooner, goes to St. Thomas in the American Virgin Islands and sails primarily in the British Virgin Islands with six passengers. So both boats operate um, 12 months of the year. Uh, we also operate them with special events in the evenings and they operate as bed and breakfast so people can spend the night on both boats. So it's uh, quite a busy operation. Uh, we have about six people in the office and we have a total of uh, 14 crew. I first started sailing tall ships when I was 16. Uh, I was, let me think, kind of young and idealistic uh, and saw a big pirate ship and said, I want a job. Um, and they basically you know, said that you know, I could come on, I could work for free for a week and a half, uh, do a transit from, where was I? Bar Harbor back to Boston. Um, and uh, if it worked out, I got a job. If it didn't work out, they'd throw me back off here. Uh, and so they took me on. Mm, I climbed harder than anyone, I worked harder than anyone. They let me stay and I lived on that boat for almost a year. I was like 10 years old, my brother was working on a boat called the Hawaiian Chieftain, uh, based off the west coast, and I just slept on the boat for a night and I really liked it, and so I came back uh, when I was old enough to volunteer. And I volunteered for two weeks and then I got a job working on that boat, and so I was there for about six months. And then I finished up my school and came here. I flew down to the Bahamas to um, help bring the ship back. and. Um, so I flew down, got to Nassau, got on the ship, and immediately climbed up to the top of the rigging. <laughs> I got on the Bounty in Maine in 2010, and we did the Great Lakes Challenge. Um, so, you know, it was just completely different. I did a sea semester, and that, like, really got me addicted to it, I think. The Kramer was definitely a, focused a lot on learning and a lot of my, like, scientific yeah. research, as well as uh, taking classes. And here, I'm getting much more hands-on training. The first week we were out on the Kramer, we sailed out of St. Croix and sailed straight into this huge storm. It was 12 to 15 foot seas. And I was the only student on the boat that wasn't getting seasick. And I was like, maybe I should go into this sort of thing for the rest of my life. I, I think people do identify themselves with, you know, some of these boats. Um, you know, they'd almost, almost have to. The culture of the sea is about brotherhood, you know, and sisterhood. It's about community. It's about um, taking care of each other to uh, know that you're taken care of by your mates. It's, a, it's an experience you can't get elsewhere. People just don't treat each other the same way. I got out of tall ships for a while and I just thought it was kind of lonely, like having my own apartment. I just really miss like, you know, eating and working and playing with like a big group of people. And it's totally like a family environment, kind of. I know that sounds really cliche, but um, <clears throat> Yeah, I just really like it, and everybody on Tall Ships is like a really interesting person, you know, who have like done like the weirdest stuff, and like on the weirdest places, so they're definitely an awesome group of people. I like to sail because it's, um, I was a history major in college, and I kind of, it's one of the only uh, things that we do that's, that's exactly we do it the, exactly the same way people did it 200 years ago. I find that tall ships are just um, incredibly majestic. On the transit, right after we left Charleston, South Carolina, um, we were passing the Continental Shelf and um, adduction brings you know all sorts of stuff up from the bottom of the ocean. And so there's a lot of a lot of marine life there, a lot of feeder fish, so there are a lot of predators. So we saw upwards of 20 sharks, we saw a pot of probably 75 dolphins, pilot whales, a humpback whale, sea turtles, manta rays, uh, man of war jellyfish. I mean, it was, it was just an amazing amount of marine life that day. So um, I think that was, uh, you know, it was a, a beautiful day and, you know, we just, 
it, it was just a day full of seeing all, all of the aquatic life and it was it was great just being out on the open ocean and being able to do that so I guess that was uh, my favorite part of it um, well I'm an Irish student at Trinity College Dublin and there is an alliance set up between Ireland and the USA where you can go on the, what is called a J-1 visa for the summer if you're currently studying. So I applied for a J-1 visa and decided to come with five of my friends to Boston for the summer. So I'm actually a sailing instructor, so I had an interest in sailing. So I supplied to an awful lot of places around the harbour and Liberty Fleet came back to me, I got an interview and now I'm here two weeks. The Schooners, their glory days were in the 19th century so as such you get like a real historical viewpoint of Boston while it's not being given a big long narrated piece about something that doesn't really apply to you but the fact you're actually on the ship makes it very current and relevant. It's a job where even a bad day sailing is still a day sailing so <laughs> I mean like you know what I didn't spend eight hours in front of a computer desk working on something that was completely mind-numbing and you feel like a horrible person at the end of the day you still feel like you did something. Every day is different. So, um, some days I had to sand the whole deck, varnish stuff, and then other days I get to go sailing and meet new people, and there's always like different things going on. Uh, being on the water is kind of a centering experience for me. Uh, when I go out, I just, like all of my troubles from land kind of just like go away because I get to be on the water again. So, that's what I like about it. It is just a calming, um, wonderful experience just to go sailing away. Um, it's also a lot of fun to take people to sail. Well my first experience with the tall ship was last year when I was uh, um, a deckhand aboard the Liberty Clipper and Liberty Star. I uh, chose to come out here to Boston. I'm originally from Western Michigan, Grand Rapids to be specific. And uh, I came out here because I had a fascination with sailing since a kid. I've, um, I've been sailing for a good portion of my life. and. I really wanted to experience a traditional gaff rig schooner sail. Um, it's a type of sailing that I don't think can really be compared to um, your, uh, your modern sloop. It's, um, it's quite the experience on an, uh, an old traditional rig boat. I actually um, originally got a Groupon and did a harbor sail a couple of years ago. Well, my wife and I were actually captain and cook on a boat called the Tiki, an 85-foot schooner. Uh, was in the movies called Adventures in Paradise with Gardner McKay and uh, we were hired to work on that boat in Tortola and when we met the boat it was a total wreck and uh, we had three weeks to restore it with no money and it was a total disaster <laughs> but that was the first experience on, on well I guess I can't say that because our first experience was working on a 120 foot schooner in Camden called the Schooner Adventure. And that was in July 7th, 1971. And I met my wife the same day. And that was 40 some years ago. I went to the University of Rhode Island and I um, studied history, classics, and English, but I got very interested in underwater archeology span and maritime history. So yeah, I found myself here. <laughs> I really like that it's very varied, the work. I needed a day off from work and we both like sailing. We took a cruise in the Caribbean uh, a year ago on a larger schooner, um, actually Clipper, Clipper ship. So uh, this is kind of, we know we like this and we wanted to head out and fortunately we got a beautiful day. Yes, I'm retired and so I'm always up for a day trip or a weekend trip or whatever. So here we are and we did pick a wonderful day for it. Oh, well, we like sailing. We had a fabulous experience down in the Caribbean on a, it was a four-masted clipper ship and uh, we just know we enjoy this kind of thing and um, we'd help out with the sails as soon as they give us a chance. It's sort of like going back in time to uh, when they didn't, when they used sails to do the trades and go fishing and all that sort of thing. We're both pretty experienced small boat sailors. I learned at camp when I was eight years old and sailed whenever I can after that. I've never owned my own boat. And Andrea's a longtime sailor, racer. Anytime I get on a boat like this, I'm a happy girl. <laughs> I live in Taos, New Mexico at 8,200 feet and we were coming out to Boston for our son's graduation from Dartmouth last weekend. So I thought, oh, it'd be fun look at, looking up B&Bs and this one popped up. And I thought, wow, to go on a tall ship. 
would be really, really fun, really something. <laughs> I was as a teenager, 40 years ago, we crossed the Atlantic on a ship um, as, as with my family, you know, on a big cruise liner from, from Liverpool to Montreal. So, so that's a nice association, and we lived many years in New Orleans as well, so we were aware of the sea trade there. We also lived on the, um, the island of Goree in West Africa. Yeah, in Senegal, and we lived on the island, and we were we took a ferry back and forth into Dakar, and so uh, we lived there for three years. So that also is a nice association with the sea. <laughs> so it's fun to see this manifestation of life on the coast. I know I haven't been on a tall ship. I don't think anyone in the family had. As a matter of fact, trying to even define what a tall ship is has been interesting. And the crew was all super nice and helpful, and it was fun to watch them. It reminded me of how much time in our history as a species, people have spent time on the sea and how important that has been. My name is Fang, and I'm a visiting scholar from China. I'm from Beijing. Yes, and I'm working in Washington University in St. Louis. It is located in Missouri State. This is my vacation to Boston. It's short time in stay in Boston. And previously I had some experience about this cruise. But I feel it's not so here. I get the maximum relax. And we wanted to go for uh, sailing on a real boat, as opposed to the go fast. <laughs> she loves telling us stories about sailing when she was younger, since she grew up in Seattle. And Matt has never been on a sailboat before, which I thought was terrible. I don't understand how anyone can live on a coast and not 